Partition of Length Hey Mintu, why do you look so worried? Look at this brother. I made this special birthday card for my friend. But it is not fitting into the envelope. Let me see. Mintu, I will measure the envelope with my hand span. And it is one span long. And your birthday card is one and two hand spans long. Oh, this envelope is smaller than my card. Mintu, wait. I have a bigger envelope. I will give it to you. Here. Yes, Chintu. Seems like my card will fit into this one. How can you say that? Can you tell the approximate length of this envelope? This envelope is as big as my card. Then, its length would be two hand spans approximately. That's right. Now put your card in this envelope, okay? This is of the same size as your card. That is, the length of this card is two hand spans. Wow! This envelope is of the correct size. Tell me, can we estimate the length of everything like this? Yes, kids. We can estimate the length of everything in this way. So today, we will use our body parts and other small things to determine the estimated length of Objects. Do you know, Mintu? When I went to my grandfather's house during the holidays, he told me that people during the old times used certain body parts to determine the length of objects. People used estimated measures of everything during those times. How's that? Those days, people used the length of palm, that is hand span, length of hand, that is cubit, and length of foot, that is foot span, as units of measurement of length. Mintu, some people use these units even today to estimate the length. Then can I find the length of this window using my palm to measure it? Yes, Mintu. The distance between the tip of one's thumb to the tip of the pinky finger is called a hand span. So, Mintu, you can use hand span to find the length of the window. Do you want to try it? This is one hand span long. And now I will place the left hand touching the right hand that makes two hand spans. Now I lift the right hand and place it forward touching the left hand. This is three spans long. Now, I will repeat the process till I reach the end of the window. Like this, the length of the window is six spans of my palm. Well done, Mintu. Now tell me, what is the estimated length of this table? This table looks longer than the window. The length of the window is six spans of my hand. So this table must be approximately 12 hand spans long. Mintu, now try to measure the length of this pencil with your palm. The length of this pencil is equal to one hand span. Yes, Mintu. Now consider this pencil 
as a unit and now use this pencil to measure the length of the window 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 The length of this window is 6 pencils long. Yes, so Mintu, like this we can consider the measure of a smaller object as a unit to estimate the length of a bigger object. Wow, brother, this is really interesting. Now, considering this rubber a unit of measuring the length, determine the length of this paper bag, okay? Hmm. To measure the bag's length, place the rubber at one end of the bag. So it will be one, two, three, four, and five. The length of this paper bag is five erasers. Mintu, now I will teach you how to measure by making your arm length a unit. Yes, fine. Look, the distance from the elbow to the tip of the middle finger is called the length of the arm or the length of a cubit. Can we use it to measure this sofa? Yes. Look, this is one arm's length. This is two arms, three arms. This is four arms length. So the length of this sofa is equal to four cubits. Wow, brother! You even measured the sofa. Wow! <laughs> Let's go to eat food now, Mintu. Then I will teach you to measure using your feet as unit of length. Okay. Friends. Today you learn that using your body parts or small things you can estimate the length of objects. In the next video we will learn about some more units of estimating length. estimation of length friends in the previous video we learned about using your hand span cubit and small things as the unit of length measurement for measuring the length of an item today along with chintu and mintu we will use other parts of our body to estimate the length of objects brother we have already eaten hmm you were going to teach me to determine length of objects by using our feet as unit of measurement weren't you yes come i will teach you mintu you know we can measure the length of anything with our foot span how long is a foot span brother please tell me the length of the big toe of the foot to the heel of the foot is a measure of foot span okay i got it brother can i measure the length of our carpet by using my feet yes you surely can please tell me how do i have to measure this carpet look the length of this carpet is from here to here okay so first of all i will put my right foot on the carpet like this so this is the length of one foot span right Now I will place the left foot in front of the right foot slightly touching the right foot in front like this 
then this would be the length of two foot span. Now I will raise my right leg and place it in front of my left leg. There is a length of three foot span. Right brother? Now I walk through the length of the carpet. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and this is ten. The length of this carpet is as long as my ten feet. Okay, Mintu, now tell me what will be the length of the doormat that is placed there? If the length of the doormat placed near the door is half that of this carpet, then the approximate length of the mat should be equal to 5 foot span. Rightly said, Mintu. Now, let me show you a magic. Magic? Yes. Now I will measure this carpet with my feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Hey, the length of this carpet is only eight feet. Brother, length of this carpet has been reduced by your magic. <laughs> Mintu, the carpet did not shrink. Look carefully. My feet are longer than yours. And your feet are shorter than mine. Oh, that's how measurement of the same carpet came out differently. Yes, Mintu. Because everyone's body parts vary in size. So everybody gets different measurements. Yes, now I understand that hand span, cubit and foot span, these units are not always the same. Yes, and always keep in mind that these units are not correct because everyone's measurements are different. Brother, today I had so much fun. I will teach this to my friends too. <laughs> friends, in this video, we learn to measure the length of things using some other parts of our body and learned that the length of every human body is not equal. In the next video, we will learn interesting things related to the correct measurement of length.